Um, I wouldn't say Chad's is any more remarkable or any less remarkable than anywhere else, but of course it's got its own share of people who've contributed to the life of the country over the years. I think wherever you go, um, if you look back 50, 60 years, people knew everybody. They knew their neighbours, they knew everybody around them. I had a very happy childhood and complete loved living in Chaddiston. Chilliston wasn't on the trolley bus route, so a bus that was powered by electricity was quite something different. So we were really all in the same boat, you know, and if anybody had visitors or anything, they used to borrow off neighbours for things and that. There wasn't the supermarkets then. There's no, no big supermarkets at all. So it was really like a little self-contained town. And we, we even had a village post office. Heard this shrieking, screaming. So, you know, that frowned us. Really frowned us that day. You know, we knew then that, you know, there was war on. It's not the little village that it once was. It's now becoming almost a, a town in its own way. Yes, it wasn't the same place afterwards, really. If we go sort of down the road, we don't know the neighbours anymore by name. My children say that I talk about the halcyon days, but they were good. They were definitely good. Oh, I love Chaddiston. I think it's a lovely place. It just gets a bad reputation nowadays, which I don't think it deserves. That's a sign of the times. Yes. Now. <laughs>